that, that and then, so that's fascinating, Jordan. With so in your next company, you had zero debt, and um, from what oh, you were telling me, you 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 acquired Aerofit in two thousand four, correct? We did, yeah, yeah. Was that was that the next kind of business that you got into after ninety nine? Or am I skipping a gap there? No, no, that's right. We I had a, a three year non compete. Well, I stayed with the company that bought it uh, for a year. Um, and then that, it was kind of typical of everything else. That's about all I could handle. <laughs> so we amicably, amicably, we parted ways. I had a contract with them, so we, but we parted away amicably. So, yeah. I, and then um, in 2004, we bought um, uh, Aerofit. And that was interesting because it was a company that I consulted for a little bit during that three-year uh, hiatus kind of thing, kind of retirement. I didn't really retire, but... You know, I stayed busy, but one of the things was is I went and, and helped them out a little bit um, for about 18 months. Um, the, guy, the guy who started it had passed away, and his wife was running a company. Um, again, it was one of these companies that had uh, tremendous intrinsic value in my mind. They had a lot of qualifications in the industry, and this, and this was the fittings industry. It was... Uh, basically plumbing for a plane and they had a just they had more qualifications than anybody else in the industry but they were just so poorly run it was unbelievable um and and she wouldn't uh, she was a housewife basically but she just couldn't let go of money she kept i mean couldn't even pay for raw material for open orders that sort of thing so anyway when when i at the end of 17 months you know i, I kind of said you know i or not 17 months nine months something like that uh, I said to her, you know, Myrna, I, I'm, I'm going to go back to doing nothing, basically, but I would love to buy your company, you know. So I, I in fact, just I wrote her a check and put it on her desk. Uh, she should have taken it because probably a year later, I got a hold of uh, the guy who used to be my fine, uh, chief financial officer at KTI and asked him if he wanted to get back in the business. He said yes, and I said, well, I you know, we ought to start looking for a company. And so we hired a broker and we got together with a, uh, um, uh, some people who had some more money than we did. And we started looking at large companies, 200 plus million dollar companies. But we turned out to be a little bit conservative. We probably looked, I, I bet we looked at a hundred companies. Um, it, and we bid on probably 10, I'm guessing. And every time we came in second, <laughs> Because he, he was a bit of a penny pincher, which turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, we just, we'd miss him by a little bit because we were just too conservative. You know, we didn't see that uh, a goodwill side of it, you know. We couldn't pay much for the goodwill side. Anyway, um, it ended up that uh, I had left her a, a letter. Uh, what I didn't know while I had left Aerofit was that they basically were close to be going into receivership. They were within weeks of the lock being put on the door by Union Bank. Wow. And so they're, I, yeah, they were close. Yeah, yeah. I got a, a call from the Union Bank people and said, look, we we just discovered that you were interested in buying this company. I said, yeah. I said, are you still interested? And I said, yeah, probably am. But at that time, we felt it was a little small for us. They, they were doing uh, maybe $10 million a year. And Dave and I thought, but at that point, we were so discouraged about being able to buy a company. We thought, well, let's get our foot in the door with this one. And we'll see what happens. So, uh, you know, it was losing money every month. Um, but we bought it for a song, honestly. I think I might put, I am i don't even think I'll put it. Uh-oh, did I lose you? Nope, sir. Cut out there for a second. Yeah, I lost my visual. Hold on a second. Huh. That's interesting. I'm back to a Zoom. Can, can you see me now? No. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to be being, hold on a sec, let me go back one and see what happens. Now, you still there? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, there we are. Okay. At any rate, uh, so, you know, it ended up, um, like I said, I, we bought it for like, uh, I bought, my half was less than two million. It might have been a million seven, something like that. We turned a cash positive in probably 60 days. I mean, it was just, it was just so poorly run. 
And we kept the company from 94 to two, the end of 2012, December of 2012, we finally sold it. And that's just because I was getting older and I felt like I'd like to. David was the same birthday, just 10 years younger. So, uh, and we sold it, uh, 80% of it for uh, 88 million. So that was like, what is that, eight years later? Great. But we were also doing about 50 million in sales and you know, we were making a lot of money. <laughs> 